Nestled at the north end of Montana's Flathead Valley is the city of Whitefish. It's a mecca for people who love to play outdoors. Whitefish, Montana is one of these kind of towns that I call it personally the gem of the Rockies. It's not only pretty, every day you wake up, it just seems like it's the first day of your vacation. Whitefish is also home to many local festivals, but few can match the flavor and aroma of the Stumptown Barbecue Smoke-Off in July. The Stumptown Barbecue Smoke-Off has been going on three years, and it got started because we thought Whitefish needed a little barbecue and blues, so we have a music festival and a barbecue competition. The Stumptown Smoke-Off is an international event with teams from the United States and Canada. It welcomes both professional and amateur barbecue pit masters who go head to head and pit to pit for $8,000 in cash and prizes. This is serious business for the cookers, but for the some 3,000 people who attend, it's just plain fun. But where did the name Stumptown come from? The name Stumptown comes from Whitefish when it was first built in 1905. They didn't have chainsaws, so they cut all the trees down about four feet high. Because, you know, they had to come back later and, of course, clear all the stumps out. There are hundreds of barbecue competitions across the United States each year. And as the popularity of competitive barbecuing grew in the Northwest, there came a need for an organization to handle the logistics behind barbecue events and create specific rules as well as a scoring system. So in 1991, the Pacific Northwest Barbecue Association was born. The Pacific Northwest Barbecue Association is a nonprofit association that sanctions barbecue competitions all over the Northwest. The PNWBA has been around for years. It's a volunteer organization. We probably host about 30 or so competitions during the barbecue season. Barbecuing is one of the most popular forms of cooking in the U.S. and Canada. But it's not only a way to cook, it's a way to live. People love it for all kinds of reasons. I like to eat, obviously. <laughs> but uh, my father-in-law and I took a barbecue pitmaster class in Coeur d'Alene and we were hooked. It's such a great style of cooking. I love the philosophy of sort of low and slow and the process behind barbecue and it's, it's a bit of a lifestyle. Just to set the record straight, grilling is not the same as barbecuing. There's a big difference. Grilling is something that you would do maybe on a Wednesday night with a gas grill and some burgers and a steak. It's kind of a fast, hot cooking technique. Barbecue is really meant to be low and slow, smoke, let those flavors develop, build up all those layers with some beautiful fruit wood smoke or maybe some hickory or some pecan wood, and then your rubs and your sauces, and it, it's, it's a labor of love, really. Barbecue is all about taste and smell. It, it reaches your senses. So where did the idea of barbecuing come from? It came from having to make use of everything that was available. I mean, turning really terrible or underutilized cheap cuts of meat into something that was edible and a way of preserving food. By smoking it, it was a good way to preserve the food that you had. At this meaty matchup, pitmasters are preparing beef brisket, pulled pork, chicken, and ribs. That's a good looking rib right there. So what exactly does a head barbecue judge do? So I come in as the head judge to make sure everybody's playing the same game. So all the teams are starting in the exact same place and that the judges are all trained barbecue judges so that they're all using the same criteria to judge the meat so that everybody's being treated really fairly during the whole competition. And how does the PNWBA keep the meat discreet? So the teams bring their box, which is identified only by a barcode. I scan it into the system. I take that box to the table and the judges, because they are all turned in in the exact same box, the judges have no idea whose food they're eating. You can't be cooking for yourself. You have to be cooking for the judges. And the hardest part for us is trying to figure out what those judges like. So the judges take a bite or two of the food and they're evaluating it first for appearance, secondly for texture and tenderness, and finally, the most important thing, how the meat tastes. So the judges give their evaluation, they fill out a scorecard, they turn their scorecards back into me, so I enter all those scores into the computer, and so the computer calculates the score and we end up with a grand champion. Along with the award-winning food, this event has lots of family fun activities, like live music, a dunk tank, a Miss Piggy pageant, and a hog calling contest. Sweet, 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 sweet. 
Well, if good times, friendly people, great music, and smoking slow cooked meat sounds good to you, then the Stumptown Barbecue Smoke Off in Whitefish might just light your fire. Leftover biscuits, leftover ham, leftover You know, there's nothing better than the competition, the food, the people. You know, it's just, it's a great time. People love barbecue, they can't get enough of it. Barbecue event in Whitefish, come on. Could it get much better than this? There's cold beer, there's good music, great hospitality. It really doesn't get a whole lot better than what's going on here in Whitefish. Thank you folks, thank you so much. Thank you Stump Down, thank you Barbecue. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.